いでよ究極のディヒーローブルーディハローワーカムトゥトゥデイズデックプレイビデオエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエンエン Tributing those three numbers and summoning a Destiny Hero Plasma, sending infinite impermanence and passing. The opponent will activate Rhoda, search out Blade, activate the effect which will be negated thanks to Plasma, Hobby's Feather Duster, and the card set. We are going to Jizukiru that Plasma will trigger, but we will be met with Solemn Strike, then we'll activate Numeron Network, go for many, many monsters, activate Memories of Hope to get. Some cards and double and double and double. Oh, have I mentioned double yet? This hand is also very, very cancerous. You have Plasma Numeron Wall, Radiant Plasma, and Jizukiru. And the opponent is starting. So he'll activate Upset Goblin, give us 1000 life points, activate Card of Redstone with. And return of the Dragon Lords after setting a card. I'll give, us,、uh, give him Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, and he'll normal summon a Flare. Okay, he'll activate the return of Red Eyes, but we'll activate Numeron Wall, which gives us 1, 2, and 3. We activate D4, search our Plasma, activate Plasma's effect, get Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon as an equip. Attack the monster and pass. The opponent sets two and passes as well. Now we're going to attack, but he'll activate Mirror Force, but D Force protects our plasma. And we are going to attack his monster twice, since D Force gives plasma such an effect. Now we're going to attack him twice again for game. And so we're in game three. We start with Infinite Impermanence, D Force, Planet Pathfinder, Numeron Network, and Calling. So, we're going to summon Pathfinder, activate his effect, get Numeron Network. Activate Numeron Network, activate Numeron Network's effect, send Calling, summon 1, 2, 3, activate D Force, search out Plasma, tribute those three for Plasma, set Imperm Pass. This is not. A strong board, but it is a board. The opponent will activate DD monsters, doing some、uh, very interesting bullshit. And there goes our plasma. That's a bummer, but that's not something we cannot go from. And we're going for the n u m e r o n OTK again. Attack for double. Have I mentioned double yet? Activate Imperm just so we don't do no, no stupid shit goes by and we OTK with the Morons. And the final game of the day we start with Break of Destiny, Numeron Wall, D Force, Jizukiru, and Infinite Impermanence. So, we're going to activate Numeron Wall, search Numeron Network, activate Numeron Network, send calling, summon one, two, three. Activate D Force, search out Plasma. Or not, since the opponent will ash that, so we're going to activate to link some Mega Clops out of those monsters. The opponent will try to make some dinosaur plays, but will be met with infinite impermanence and we will be dealt some damage. Old Jama Trio is going to reactivate it, summoning three monsters to our side of the field, but we have Kaijus. Kaijus OP, please nerf. We're going to get rid of the opponent's field, get 300 points of damage dealt to us, but alas, the opponent will now go for a link. Karibo play, secure garden, activate double evolution pearl, get the big boy Tyranno, 
which is fine, I guess. So we're going to Jizukiru that Tyranno, activate the effect of Numeron Calling, get many monsters, get a monster under as well, and we're going to double and double. Have I mentioned double yet? And another double. So, and this is the devilish thing where you saw during those replays. You have triple plasma, triple deforce, triple break of destiny. Break of destiny is important since it can just finish off plasma, tribute plasma, the opponent skips their main phase, or it can be banished from the grave to search out deforce. We have double Jizukiru, double Thunder King, one Dogoran and one Radian, triple Interrupted Kaiju's number to finish up our Kaiju lineup. Then we're going to the Numerons with double Pathfinder, triple Numeron Wall, triple Network, triple Calling, double Memories of Hope. This is here for two reasons. One, it gives us uh, materials to Special Summon Plasma, and second, it, it's an OTK. Next we have Ash Blossom, because it's fucking Ash Blossom, and it's impermanence, because it's impermanence, and Foolish Burial Goods. Foolish Burial Goods is here mostly to send Break of Destiny to the graveyard for its in-grave effect, or Interrupted to Kaiju Slumber, just so we have an out to things. Then we have our extra deck, C1, Numeron Gate, Sunya. Doesn't happen too much, but it is a thing we can summon. Triple 1, Triple 2, Triple 3, Triple 4. One Mega Clops and one Appaloosa, because I didn't have an idea of what else I can put in here. And that's about it. There's nothing really interesting to say about it. So, um, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Jacolo signing out. Peace!